mine. doesn't it? Stranger to your father. Or was. Is that a threat?
Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself.
In the battle's aftermath, you suddenly realize the Void Woken called out your name. Calm yourself. Meditate. Don't acknowledge your own weakness. How could such simple beasts know my name? Surely my fame has not spread that far. The Void plays tricks. I pay them no heed. Your gaze wanders over the solemn stone face that overlooks the shore. For the briefest of moments, it seems as if its eyes come alive and lock with yours. The eyes, stone grey, turn pale green. They mesmerize, then enchain, then lure you in. That shrine seems to have brought me here. What is this place? Marcus, where are we? 
No leaves, no trees, no soil. This is horrific! ¿Vieron eso? 8000 de vida, 4000 de escudo, que ver. The ethereal figure before you raises the visor of his highly polished hair. Beneath it, his handsome face is weary, yet his eyes burn fierce and bright. He glowers at you with disgust. You pray at my shrines? You, my most wayward cub? He spits over his shoulder folding thick arms across his steel-bound chest. You don't recall me, do you? I am Relic, prime among the seven, and father of all humans. Father of you. I preferred you as a child, pious and devout, remember? I called you to follow me, and so you did. Relic gazes at your upright form, a contemptuous frown creasing his face. Look at you now, my child, a killer for hire. You can't hide. I see the dead who whisper your name as they pass the threshold of the halls of echoes. And who's to blame? Yes, you've taken a low road, Ifan, but you're not dead yet. Are you just going to fulfill contracts forever? He stares at you. As you gaze back into his deep green eyes, you feel your whole consciousness following. You notice every shade of stone within, from iridescent emerald to flecks of grey. The verdant pools encompass you. There is nothing else, nothing but Ralik's eyes. Suddenly, a vision coalesces. You see yourself, the bright and zealous crusader you once were. You are breathless, scouting through deep forest. You are racing with a message of utmost importance for the elven people. You make it to civilization. Too late. An explosion devastates the beating heart of the elven city. Ancestor trees thud to earth. Strong trunks crack even louder than the horrified screams. A fetid miasma pulls the air. Gasping on the fumes, you are dragged to safety by a wolf. A wolf who appears out of nowhere. He pulls you free, clawing an elven woman who gets in your way. She collapses, wheezing under the choking dust. She clutches your ankle with her hand, gripped tight as a vice. As you reach down to help, her hand falls away, lifeless. Through the haze, the death fog, you see her dead eyes, black and staring. Through her lifeless eyes, you fall. You see them, Legion, the thousands slain that day, those you were too late to save. The hundreds slain by your own hand since then. Mountains of corpses and rivers of blood. You see the motherless children left behind. The scarred slaves sold to the highest bidder. Choices you made. Contracts you took. The army of the lost gaze at you silently. Their loathing and reproach palpable. Encased in pitch black of deadest night, you know not which way is up and which way down. Vertigo spins your senses as you see the consequences of each choice you made, one damning choice after another. The guilt you try to escape from lies here, bare, throbbing. It was waiting for you here all along, in this filthy chamber at the base of your rotten heart. Your pain pulses, ebbs and flows, undammed. You widen your eyes, striving to see further, but a stinging slap drags you back to reality. Ralik stands before you. Gimlet eyes hard now. He slaps you again, harder. Pity won't bring them back. Nothing can bring them back. But you can yet come back yourself. Long ago, you turned your face away from all that is light. 
turn back to me, and you could yet save others, could save all. Ralik slaps you again, full force. He stares into your eyes with challenge. That's what I'm looking for. That crusader courage. The courage to stand up for what's right. Ralik punches you full in the face. You feel a familiar sensation as the delicate bones of your oft-broken nose give way. He catches your arm in one vice-like fist and dangles you above the ground. He laughs and shakes you like a rag doll. You feel rage surge within you, barely containable. Feel it electrifying the blood in your veins, pumping through you. You feel like yourself. Ralik smirks and rises to his feet, wiping your blood from his now scarlet armor. That's it, Ben Mezd! That fierce spark of zeal is why I chose you, why I saved you from that sinking ship. You try to hide it behind apathy, but the light shines through. Embrace who you really are! Why did you become a crusader in the first place? You heard my call, my call, not Lucian's, so fight for me! I need you. The Seven didn't abandon Rivlon. We are trapped here, powerless and squabbling. You, ruthless son of humanity, you will be my champion in the world. You are my god, Woken. I will grant you my blessing, fierce wolf. It will aid you on the path out of this place, and then... We will have words again. Ralik steps towards you, solemn of face and bearing. He raises his right hand and presses it upon your heart. A surge of warmth and well-being rushes through you. This here is what I'm going to do. I just want to give it to me because I'm very perseverant in seeing how I'm going to give it a shot at the game. It's a blessing and it's a blessing for the other side. You may have noticed I've tried to help you on your journey. I blessed the water beneath your feet so that it would aid you. Now you have the power for yourself. And this is only the beginning. More and greater powers await you, if only you will seek them. Only one like you can wield them. Now go, Godwoken. Go with my blessing. Let it remind you always of who you are. My Crusader. In time, I will ask more of you. But now, your goal is simple. Survive. Escape the grasp of those who would imprison you. Who would break you. Who would limit your true potential. My child. You and you alone must rise above the reach of minor people. But before you lope away, let me ask. You are traveling with company, yes? Be aware, they are not your friends. They are your rivals. Hmm? They are God-woken too. But you are the one who will be a god, none other. Keep your claws sharpened and your eyes bright and keen. See everything from two sides. Take the wolf that saved you, that follows you so dutifully. Watch him. The wildest animals often turn and bite the hand that feeds them. Oh, and Losa, that pretty little one you think of at night. Kill her now, and be done with it. Until we meet again, my child. Blessed branches we've returned! Every second we spent in that hellish place was a second the great acorn drew closer. Interesting. You thought it was interesting, Quercus. Do you know what's interesting? Watching an entire world be strangled by the roots of doom. Seeing the giant races fall like leaves in frost. Hearing the screams of... I don't know what you're talking about. I am perfectly calm. <coughs> 
Mm. Anyway, as interesting as that cold hellscape might have been, it does not solve our problem. We are here to stop the Great Acorn, not hide from it. It's already helping more than it knows, Quercus. The fate of the world depends on our ability to research a spell to protect Rivalon. We need to travel across the land, gathering clues, experimenting with different magics, and come up with a spell to shield Rivalon from its doom. Of course, for us to do that, we must avoid being eaten by the servants of the Great Acorn, and that is where our big, foolhardy shield comes in. The shield thinks saving its world isn't something it should be grateful for, Quercus. How can something so large be so small-minded? <coughs> no, I am not going to share our magic with it. I don't care how much you like it, Quercus. I... Very well, I cannot give it magic, but I can teach it how to forge one spell, if it will keep you happy. The squirrel reaches out, touching your foot with a delicate paw, and you feel your mind open. You can see the forces of magic and see how to combine them in a new way. There, maybe now your pet will have a fighting chance. Yes, yes, you're welcome, but can we please get on and save the world now? Curioso, honestamente. Y esta es la, esta es la hueá de bendición. A ver. Lo que más me impresionó es que me, dije, que me dijo que no confías en nadie. Eso ya lo puedo hacer, pero ¿y por qué? Ahora, hay varias cosas que tengo dudas. Por ejemplo, esto es de nivel, pero esto no. No entiendo por qué. Tampoco sé dónde ver. Ese es mi nivel, pero no sé cuánta experiencia. Sí, hay, hay como dije, hay, todavía hay muchas cosas que entiendo. No es como el típico RPG que te dice, oye, ven, ¿sabes que Te falta tanto para hacer. Y esto es importante, la versación, la negociación, la suerte. No entiendo, bueno, no entiendo. Por ahora voy a dejarlo ahí. ¿sabes? Lo que sí sé es que puedo... O sea, ahora, ¿tengo que interactuar con cada estatua que encuentre? Porque... No iba a interactuar con la estatua y al final ya bueno interactuo, pero qué pasa. Eh, las estatuas por ejemplo de teleport. Eh, hasta de acá realmente hay cosas que no tienen importancia. Hay otra cosa que tengo que hacer que no la hice que hasta ahora. Es que. Según yo... Ah, no, porque esto se ordenó, ¿verdad? Estas pociones... Deberían... Debería ir... En... Probablemente... Así... Darle a cada uno una cantidad de pociones. La verdad, no tengo tantos tomos de rey. Al final, me podría terminarme matando. La cagué, pero Ahora, tenían pociones, pero también me habían tirado un hechizo que hacía que... Voy a dar, voy a dar, así que... Al curarme, me... Ah, 
too strange. Hmm. Yes. The menacing skeletal guardian looks at you wearily, then yawns. So you dare defy the will of Bracus Rex, prepare to die, and so on and so forth. Let's get this over with. Why wouldn't I be? Every so often, some interloper goes and undoes one of Bracus Rex's curses, and I must murder the poor sod. I hope this brings the discussion to an end. I don't like being roused from slumber, only to be greeted by such banality. I was a loyal servant of the Source King. I carry out his will in death as in life, and all that sort of thing. Now, can we get down to the fighting? I was enjoying a lovely dirt nap before you helped those heretical pigs. It is not my place to question Bracus Rex's will. I am to execute those who defy his legacy. Besides, there are far worse fates Bracus Rex could have visited upon you. This island itself is proof enough of that. I de she moans impatiently and taps her bony foot. One did not make a deal with Bracus Rex. One simply carried out his will, lest his curse be unleashed on you. Who is to say? Could any curse be more grave than this interminable conversation? Now let's get down to business. All this talking exhausts me. Look out! I see a trap nearby. That looks dangerous. A trap. Better give it a wide berth.
Ahora, lo malo, bueno, la bendición es buena, pero... Eh, necesitas... ¿Qué te hace la bendición? A ver, a ver, denme un momento. Yo creo que... <coughs> Tengo que aprender un, un poco más de esto. Claro. Ahora... Ya lo fue en sí. 